What is going on, everybody? We are working on Shrike, the chapter master of the Raven Guard. I've been doing this as a commission for a friend. And we want to add a little bit of extra detail here to the concrete. And we're going to be using the ghost dry brush that we have been using for all these bases over here so far. And if you look, I mean, this thing is still holding its shape perfectly. And if you push down, you know, it has a nice fan to it. So you really are getting a great product here. Uh, these will be on Kickstarter in January. Uh, we might actually try the smaller one here to show you that one for this. But I kind of have been enjoying just showing you the same brush over and over again because not only does it show you the versatility of, you know, being able to dry brush bases, make cool bases, um, also being able to do like a Zenithal Prime or just a cool black and white kind of scheme. Uh, it's giving you just, you know, some good variety. But also it's demonstrating that these brushes hold up very well for a dry brush. And even after all these products or projects with the same brush, it's still holding a very, very nice shape. And you can tell it's still very soft. So that is one of the advantages of the soft dry brush. Uh, we're gonna try to be adding some texture or detail to the concrete on this little barricade Shrike is standing on. And we're gonna be using Frostbite from P3, but any light blue color would work just fine. Uh, if need be, we will switch to the smaller dry brush here. But we're gonna just start out by putting a nice dollop here on the napkin. And then we're gonna work it out of the brush. And hopefully you can see that fine. I know it's a little out of focus. I have it focused to be a little closer so you can watch this work. But anyway, same thing as always, dry brush. You're getting the paint out of the brush, right? So you can stab, stipple, you can wipe. There you go, most of the paint's out of the brush. And what we're gonna do is just try to catch using a downward stroke, try to catch some of these raised edges. And this was base coated with a variety of kind of blue grays over top of some kind of gray color. And hopefully that's coming up okay. But you can see we are adding texture. Uh, the line here on this model, there's an obvious plane here that would be raised to the light. So let's try to get some interest on that. And this is really simple. You can always check your brush on the back of your hand, back of your glove. I don't wear gloves when I'm normally painting. This is just for the demonstration. But what we're gonna do is just try to catch this top Part. So I'm going to do some various little strokes here. Basically, you see this crack here. I'm trying to catch that crack and pull it along the side there. Same with this front one. We can also do it this direction. And we'll try to catch this back edge, maybe some downward strokes. And that is definitely working very nice. So now you can see there's a bit of a highlight which is subtle, but that's what we want here. We don't want crazy, crazy highlight on his base. But even then, it's picking up just the little tiny cracks around the bullet hole. And there you have it. Fantastic. We'll try to get it down in here around these cracks. You can do a stippling motion, too. That always works nice. And hopefully you can see, I mean, clearly you can see that line down the center now, that little highlight. We basically did almost no work, took no effort, took very little paint, and we added quite a bit of interest to the base here. So we'll try to catch a little bit on the back, but this is a highlight, and we don't need to worry too much about highlighting deep down in the shadows here, but we'll try to catch this little piece here and some of this side here, and then we'll have to go back and clean up some of this 
metal rebarb or whatever. But there you have it. Super simple. Just adding a nice little dry brush highlight. Put some texture on some concrete. Uh, if you're working on concrete style bases or a material, uh, definitely try out your light blues for getting that highlight on there. So work from maybe some grays to light blues and you can get a pretty convincing concrete. And I like to do this last dry brush after the weathering because it helps blend over top of the weathering and helps seal it in a bit. And then next we'll go back in and put a little bit more of the meta uh, metallics on and that should help it uh, be finished up. So hopefully this simple quick video of showing you how to dry brush concrete using light blues on Shrike here was helpful. Once again, the Ghost Dry Brushes will be available in January on Kickstarter. So please subscribe to the channel. Please go subscribe to my Kickstarter page. Uh, we've been doing big things over there and I have a Patreon. So definitely check that out. We're a little over halfway towards doing the big giveaways over there. So if you're interested in Patreon, definitely uh, check that out. And if you don't want to wait for the dry brushes and you're only interested in the regular round paintbrush set that I offer, it is available on eBay. Link in the description below. Check it out.